Right guys, welcome back to Frostpunk. In this video, I am going to be teaching you how to survive the storm. So, we're 34 days into the game. This is on easy difficulty, just for the purpose of the video. And we're doing quite well. we still got some people homeless, but I'm not expecting to keep everyone. When it gets cold, people will start dying. Right, so survive the storm. We've prepared for it. Now all that's left is to survive until it passes. So we're going to reach minus 120 degrees. This is only on easy, but I'm showing you what it's like. For I've done it on medium, like on the normal difficulty. So the best thing to do is maybe even don't go for woods with an automaton. I would probably go with four, unless you can get more steam cores before the storm hits. I'd go with four coal mines, just so you've got the coals to keep everywhere warm. And I would just make sure you've got enough resources. You need a lot of food because a lot of people, and I mean a lot, the majority of your city will die. So the best thing for you to do... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to keep everywhere warm. Are the houses even warm? Because they're like the best building you can get. They're cold. There's moderate risk of getting ill. Down to minus 110. This is literally just about surviving. See, they're not even keeping them warm a tiny bit. And their houses, they're fully upgraded. We literally have to last until then. And that is it. I think we will do it. I didn't even have to remove people from the propaganda center. Right, can we... Drop the discontent a little bit. Oh, I've got no one working in there. That one's not working, I don't know why. There we go, look at that, that discontent drop. That's just from a guard station, because I've got the order, uh, law, like, tree kind of thing, the book of laws. I went for the order side, so I got the propaganda centre and everything. Has that really... That's not made a difference, at all. Discontent will fall, that's a good choice. I didn't notice it drop. See, we've got 104 people ill, 48 people gravely ill. I don't know why when you get close to the end, like, of the storm, the game starts lagging loads. The family froze to death, that is... Poor them. There we go, we dropped some a little bit. Thanks to the prison. Turn the heaters on in there. Have I got... I don't know if I've got a steam hub anywhere nearby. That's already on. Oh, I can't do anything there, it's gonna have to stop working there. I might have accidentally closed it down myself. That one's never really worked, it's not near any houses. We're getting there. Is that... Oh, no, there was a big, uh, big bit of lag then. Minus 150. You introduced a law to give people rest and relaxation, but failed to build a public house. Hold up. That's a public house, is it not? The weather needs to drop. The storm ends. Oh, that discontent bar. Now it's all gone. And everyone's going to be nice and warm again. Okay, we got a glimpse of what it was like. So there we go, you're going to get all the people talking now. It's not really, like, it is how to survive the storm, because I basically explained it's best to have, like, four coal mines and stuff like that. But it's more of showing you what happens. It's kind of like the end of the scenario kind of thing. It's really, really difficult. That was on easy settings. I've done it once on medium. I was very, very close at that time as well uh, for the discontent bar to be filled up. 
But we did it. That's the second time I've done it now. I know yeah, I was on easy, but I've done it on medium. I'm not brave enough to try hard. I already struggle with this game. I'm still getting used to it. Although I've kind of got the base mechanics down to a T now. So yeah, a lot of our people died. It said that I didn't build the public house, so the discontent almost like hit the end of the bar. And it's quite cool the way they've done this ending, because that's the actual city that I built. It starts off from nothing and it shows you what you did. 187 citizens left and the city ended on minus 30. Right, so that was Surviving the Storm. I kind of wish they'd add an endless mode to this kind of thing, so that instead of surviving the storm and then the game ending, you have to either start again or do the new scenario, the arcs, after passing day 20, I think it is. It would be cool if they did an endless mode, so you could just keep building and building and building until the point where you had, like, a million coal, a million wood, stuff like that. So you had, like, you could have a massive, like, the outer ring of your crater could just be, like, resource depots and stuff. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope it shed some light, kind of, like, helped you prepare yourself exactly for what is coming when the storm hits at the end of the scenario. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching.